Hello dear viewer, today I have a stack of Criterion discs here to talk about and recommend to you. These are all UK Criterion discs, but of course they are also available in the United States. So hopefully no matter where you are, there'll be some way that you can get your hands on these discs. So let's begin with something that is truly incredible. It's Lone Star, the John Sayles 1990s movie on 4K and Blu-ray here from Criterion. The film does look beautiful. There's so much detail in the image. And I find this one of the most impressive Criterion 4Ks to date. The film is set in this small Texas town where this body, this skeleton is found in the desert. And it brings with it so many questions that asks about the memories of the people living in this town and the people who were in power at the time because their relatives are still around. And this film really does sort of play like an ensemble piece because we follow all these different characters and we see how they interact with one another. As well as having a great story, it very cleverly addresses issues about racial divides and who owns certain land and all sorts of, you know, different social issues that we still talk about today. They're all present here in this film. So I highly recommend this. There is a booklet with an essay here and on the special features on the included Blu-ray, there's a conversation with Sales himself and there is a new interview on there as well. Sticking with the 4Ks, I have the Roaring Twenties. I talked about this recently on the channel. This is Raoul Walsh's great film with Humphrey Bogart and James Cagney. It tells the story of these guys who were comrades in World War I, and when they come back to the United States after the war, it examines how they both are trying to live good lives in the post-war world. But one of them, and that's Humphrey Bogart, really is a bit of a menace, and he risks dragging James Cagney you know, deeper into this criminal world, which he is a part of. I was very impressed with how this classic film looked on 4K with the Dolby Vision HDR. And the special features on the included Blu-ray are great as well. So this one gets my full recommendation. Next we have Thelma and Louise, which is in this Digipack packaging from Criterion. This is a massive release, a hugely popular film, which when it was announced, I made a video going through those regular announcements and I kind of took a bit of a negative stance to this one getting a release. When I say negative, I don't mean anything to do with the actual film itself, more that this was taking a space in the release schedule that could have gone to something that was a bit lesser known, that could have been a discovery to me. Some people took that the wrong way and thought I was saying that this film doesn't deserve to be in the collection. It was more my kind of knee-jerk reaction that I wish it was something else. However, having it in my hands now and having watched it and all of the included features, it really is a great film. And the 4K presentation is fantastic. It's an iconic film that I imagine most people watching this video now have seen. However, seeing it again on the 4K was beautiful and the included special features, you get so many of them on the included Blu-ray. You get some older audio commentaries that have been taken from previous releases, you get an interviews, you get a documentary, there's a music video, uh, there's so much in here. And this is one of the discs that is currently reduced in the UK from $29.99 to $24.99. So you can save a fiver if you pick it up at the moment. Then we come to another 4K in the form of One False Move. This is Carl Franklin's movie, which it, it's great to have this on a 4K from Criterion. Between this release and their 4K release of Devil in a Blue Dress, I'm becoming much more of a fan of Carl Franklin's work. And this is a great film, a very kind of disturbing, thrilling film, which is about these criminals who are on the run and they end up coming to this small town where the local police chief gets involved in this criminal case. And then all sorts of things ensue when these people get wrapped up together. It's a phenomenal film from the 1990s, one that I think and I hope is now getting more of a reappraisal because I hadn't really heard of anyone talk about this film for the longest time, but now we have it here on a new release and some great special features on the included Blu-ray. 
I'm very happy to see it. Now we move on to some standard Blu-ray releases from Criterion. First one, La Bamba. This is the Luis Valdez movie starring Lou Diamond Phillips as Richie Valens. This is a music biopic and in my opinion this is one of the best that we have ever had. Certainly compared to the likes of Bohemian Rhapsody and Rocket Man and stuff like that that we've had in recent years. This film really puts those to shame because those more modern films about huge stars are very sanitized and they don't really delve into the reality and the dark history of some of these great figures in the musical world. And I think because this is Richie Valens, you know, not on the level of Elton John or Freddie Mercury, then they could go to these sort of places. And Luis Valdez had permission from Richie Valens' family to really go into that detail, including the relationship he had with his brother, which was not the greatest one. He was a bit of a, a reckless guy, a troublemaker, and he gave his blessing to include all of the facts in this movie. So that's all to say this is a fantastic film about a musical legend who does not get talked about that much today. It looks great on the Blu-ray from a 4K digital restoration and there are some great special features going into how the film was made including a conversation with Valdez where I learnt about you know the history of how this film came to be and of course incredible music in the film so I highly recommend this. This is a very enjoyable film and very well put together. Next we come to the latest release in the UK from Criterion. It's All That Money Can Buy, also known as The Devil and Daniel Webster. From 1941 it's a film directed by William Dieterle and it is a Faustian story about a man who makes a deal with the devil. The man in question is a farmer who is down on his luck but he has this encounter with the devil who agrees to give him anything he wants, all the riches he desires, but he's going to come back years later and take his soul. It's a brilliantly dark movie, great cinematography, and I love the performance of The Devil by Walter Houston. It looks great on the Blu-ray, taken from a 4K restoration, and tons of special features on the Blu-ray. So I strongly recommend this to anyone who is a fan of classic cinema. It's not quite a horror film, but I mean, there are elements that are horrific. So an entertaining film that perhaps we could still learn a lot from today. I also picked up Charlie Chaplin's Circus. This had a release from Criterion in the US a few years ago now, five years ago-ish. And it's just come to the UK at the end of last year, taken from a 4K restoration of the 1969 version of the film that was distributed. The Circus, not one of Chaplin's, you know, top tier films, but still very much discussed about when looking at Chaplin's entire filmography. It's a very funny film, lots of great gags, set pieces within the circus. And, you know, Chaplin, I mean, what can I say here that hasn't already been said? There's a great audio commentary on here and some interviews, etc. on the disc. It's great to have this from the 4K restoration because I did have the previously available Artificial Eye version which I haven't done a direct comparison, um, but I thought this looked very good indeed. Then very quickly, I'll talk about Mudbound, the D. Reese movie, which was, I think, produced by Netflix, certainly a Netflix exclusive for the longest time. And Criterion have negotiated the rights to have it released on physical media, which is something that I think is so important because there are a lot of films now that are locked in on these streaming services. So I hope that in the future we see more and more of these relationships come together so that we can get these films on disc. And even with Netflix, there's a ton of films that I would love to see come to disc, which perhaps Criterion could do. And maybe I'll make a video on those potential films. Anyway, great film here from D. Reese about these two families in the 1940s who both send off their sons to war. One of them is a black family, one of them is a white family. And when they come back from war, you know, having this kind of bond that they've fought in battle together, um, things start to get very explosive between these two different families. Whilst I think the film is great, I do think it sort of takes its time to set up this story. 
But when you get to those key tense moments in the film, it really is incredible filmmaking. So whether you get this Criterion Blu-ray or if you just have a Netflix subscription, definitely give this film a shot if you want a great film. There's an audio commentary and some other features on the Blu-ray, so definitely get the physical media if you can, but check it out on Netflix if not. So after all that, I think I'm starting to lose my voice, but never mind, because I got to talk about some great films. And hopefully you can take some of these as recommendation from me. If you'd like some more Criterion recommendations from me, just click the video that's presented on screen right now. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.